praises to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever. So let it be true. Love, honor, and respect to the Creator, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, and to His Holy Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, the major prophets, the minor prophets, and the hopeful elect, 144,000 brothers. And Shalom to the great multitude of brothers and sisters. We're on another lesson, and tonight's the Passover. Today's Wednesday, March 16th, and it's, you know, <clears throat> it's evening, so this is Passover, and we're going to read a few scriptures, and then we're going to, I'm going to show you how to prepare the lamb with the olive oil and the, and the bitter herbs, and then we're going to go out, and then we're going to cook it under fire, but we're going to start with Isaiah 53, verse 3, because it's all about the Most High Son, Yahweh Shai. Go on. It says, He is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. All right. He's a man of sorrows. When he was alive, he was the strongest man that walked this earth, and he was the most persecuted man on this earth and he was a man of sorrows not like the fake churches that say that he was running around with flowers and and he was having a good time the most i sent him on this earth and every element was against them satan and all the army of demons were against the son of man um go ahead and find me uh psalms 35 and 19. So, he was a man of sorrow, he was despised, and he was hated. There was the, the group of apostles, and you had a following of brothers, and you had some sisters out there that believed, but the rule hated them. And this is like, tonight of the Passover, this is a serious thing. This You gotta be serious, you know, and... And you got to be mentally, physically, and spiritually with this truth when when you're doing this Passover. Go on. To the book of Psalms, chapter 35, and verse 19. Let them not rejoice over me, who are wrongfully my enemies, nor let them wink with the eye who hate me without a cause. Yep. He was hated. Um, Psalms 22. Verse 7 and 8. Wrote a few scriptures here. Just, you know, I'm just trying to get to the point that he was he was a man that was hated. Seven and eight. Yes. The book of Psalms, chapter 22, verse 7. All those who see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip. They shake the head, saying, He trusted in Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Let him rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. That's the false prophecies, the people that were following those false prophets, and the Romans, the Roman soldiers. He was scorned and he was mocked. They all laughed at him. He was despised. Stay on that same chapter or go to verse 16. Verse 16. For dogs have surrounded me, the assembly of the wicked has enclosed me. That's the prophets and the Roman soldiers that were mocking, spitting on them, punching them, kicking them. Demons, there was a, a whole legion of demons there persecuting the Son of God. Go on. They pierced my hands and my feet. I can't count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them. And for my clothing they cast lots. That's right. They were even gambling for his garments. Psalms 118 verse 26. Everything you need to know is in the Holy Book. Uh, 
118, verse 26? Yeah. The book of Psalms, chapter 118, and verse 26. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We have blessed you from the house of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's a beautiful scripture. Because that's that important of that ancient Hebrew name of Yahweh and to his holy son, Yahweh Shai. That's the name. That's the real name. All the way from the times of Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Throughout the centuries of God's people, that was the name. We lost it there because they beat us down. The Roman Empire, they beat that name out of us. But that name came back through the apostles and the prophets and now to the 144,000 and the great multitude. So the name is very, very important. Give me a Matthew 15 and 24 and Matthew 10, 5 and 6. The name, you have to know the name. And that close relationship you have with God, when you make those prayers, the angels pick up the prayers and they take it to Yahweh Shai. And then Yahweh Shai takes it to the Heavenly Father. No one could get to the Father but through the Son of God, which is the ancient name is Yahweh Shai, the deliverer of his people. And we're at the end of the world. It's been the end of the world, but we're at the end end now. You have it? Matthew, 15, 15 Matthew, and 24. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that's all the twelve tribes. The twelve tribes of Israel. And then Matthew, uh, start with uh, chapter 10, uh, start with 5 and go through 7. He was only sent, the Heavenly Father sent the, the Son and the world. The world in John, what is it, 3.16? It's talking about Israel. The world of Israel. That's where you got to do your research. You got to get deep into the, the holy book and you'll have the understanding that God's coming back for his people. Go on. The book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5. These 12 Yahweh Shai sent out. And those are the apostles he's talking about. And commanded them, saying, Do not go into the way of the Gentiles. He said, Don't go to the other nations. And do not enter a city of the Samaritans. It says, But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. The twelve tribes. And he's gathering us all right now. Um, let's go with uh, Revelation chapter 14 and 3. And finish on seven. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And, and as you go, preach saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right. He told the apostles, Go out. And preach the gospel. Preach the kingdom of God. The kingdom of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Forever and ever. So let it be true. And that's why we're out here. And the brothers on the four corners of this earth. And we're preaching the word of God. And we're preaching the ancient Hebrew. And then the end will come. And look it up. There was no J's. In the ancient days. That's a new letter. That's why if you get to 1611, there's no J's in the Holy Book of 1611. Okay? But you got to do your research to get this understanding. And only the elect is going to get this. The apostles, the prophets, the 144,000, the great multitude. That's part of the elect. Go on. The book of Revelation, chapter 14, and verse 3. And they sang... As it were a new song before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders, and no one could learn that song except the 144,000 who were redeemed from the earth. Redeemed. That new song is this holy book. And starting with the holy name, that ancient Hebrew name, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, that new song is it's not new. It's from the ancient times, but it's it's new to us because, like I said, it was lost. But the Most High reserved a, a remnant, which starts with the apostles and the prophets, the 144,000 and the great multitude of this holy book. And that's why it says, 
we only know that knowledge and wisdom. Only the elect, the whole, uh, the world, two thirds of our people ain't gonna get it. They're lost, and the nations, they're in, we're in total confusion. Go ahead, you can keep on reading. I think there's a few good scriptures on there. Verse four. These are the ones who were not defiled with woman, for they are virgins. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever He goes. These were redeemed from among men, being fruit, first fruits to Yahweh and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh. They're without fault, and that's talking about the virgins, it's talking about the young men. Both of the men that are in this truth are very young. And, the, and this, this truth is this holy book. Because we go to the Most High. We ask for forgiveness in His ancient name. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. And we're forgiven. And we're pushing this word of God, which is fire, that comes out of our mouth. Because we're reading out of this holy book. Is there more on to that? That was it on that? So, by through his blood, you could read it again, we're, we're purged through his blood. That's why we're having this Passover, because he was the lamb that died for the 12 tribes of Israel, for the apostles, the prophets, 144,000, the great multitude. It's his blood. We're, we're that one third that's going to be saved. That's our hope and that's our faith. You want to read it? I could continue uh, verse 6. It says, Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear Yahweh, for Hashem Yahweh Shai, and give him glory, for the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea, and the springs of water. That's right, and that's that great multitude, because all our people, the 12 tribes, were on the four corners of the earth. We're in every nation, because we got, we got handled by those nations. They grabbed a hold of us, and they put us in slavery on all four corners of this earth. But he's coming back for us, brothers and sisters, and, and we're going to start getting a little closer to the mill. We got the lamb. It's a young lamb, grass-fed lamb. And then uh, we're going to bless the wine. You got to get the kosher kosher wine during this meal. Um, you bless the wine. You bless the lamb. You bless the bitter herbs. You bless the unleavened bread, which we're going to use uh, organic corn tortillas, which has no flour in it. And, you know, it's, a, it's the blood of Yahweh Shai. He protects us forever and ever, so let it be true. And I'm going to go ahead and stay on there. So <clears throat> I'm going to get some olive oil. What happened to the olive oil? My can of olive oil. What happened to it here? Oh, this right here. That's right. So I'm going to put some olive oil in here. And you get the, the or, or, oregano. Put some oregano in there. See right there? So I'm going to get the olive oil and then just, just sprinkle it in there. Because I'm going to start putting my hands in there. We're going to put some garlic, put it in this one. So this is granulated garlic I'm going to put in here. And then I'm going to do some rosemary. These are the bitter, these are these bitter herbs. Some bitter herbs right here. There's some more. This is rosemary. Rosemary and garlic. Um, Lemon. No, no, put that on the side. We'll do that after. Uh, that's mustard seed. Put sprinkle some mustard seed in there. So there's like rosemary. There's some crushed peppers in here, and there's some more herbs that are in here. Go ahead and squeeze this up in. Get closer right here. Yeah. Like I said, this is a grass bed, and then we're gonna put it in the fire. We're gonna uh, put it on the grill with fire. And then whatever's left, if, the, if you have any of the lamb left, you're supposed to burn it. But we're going to eat, we're going to make sure we eat all this. And after we cook it, then we're going to do our ceremony. We, we, do, we have our prayers. And see, I'm just going to mix it up right here. 
Yeah, get that side right there. See? Let's mix it up over here. Go a little closer right here, Lou. Like I said, this is a, a young lamb that we got right here. Yep. So we got the mustard seed, the rosemary, oregano, some basil, and a few other herbs. But we're going to go ahead and end this, and we're going to go out. All the brothers are going to go out, and we're going to cook it under the fire. Then we're going to come back, do our ceremony, and we're going to eat. And then we have a second meal, and that's for the, the wives, the daughters, and the grandkids. But I just, this is the Passover, and we're going to go ahead and uh, close it out. Hope you brothers and sisters got edified. All praises to the Most High God forever and ever, so let it be true. Have the faith and hope in the Most High and His Holy Son, and you'll be delivered. The water.